Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will solve one numerical which is basically based on autocorrelation. Okay. So, find the autocorrelation of the finite length sequence x of n. And this x of n is given as 2, 3, 1, 4. So, you should know how to, you know, calculate the correlation or computation of correlation. So, basically, you know, in case of autocorrelation, so to get the autocorrelation Rx x of m, right, first you have to fold the sequence x of n to obtain x of minus n. Then the convolution of x of n and x of minus n gives the value of this particular autocorrelation. You understood so first you have to fold this means you have to calculate x of minus n so simply if you want to fold now you start from this side like this so 4 comma 1 comma 3 comma 2 so we have x of n and we have x of minus n now to get the autocorrelation what we have to do, we have to perform the convolution of x of n and x of minus n. So let's perform the convolution using matrix method. Clear? So in step 1, what we, you have to do? So in the matrix method, one of the sequence is represented as a row while the other sequence is what? Represented as column. So this I am going to represent as what x of minus n and other one I am going to represent as x of n. Clear? And the values, corresponding values I have written. So x of n 2, 3, 1, 4 and x of minus n 4, 1, 3, 2. Clear? Now to fill up this matrix array, multiply each element of the column, you know, with the corresponding element of the row so for example here what will come 2 into 4 8 will come okay here 2 into 1 2 will come here 2 3 6 so 2 into 2 4 will come here right now for this so 3 into 4 12 will come here here 3 will come now 3 into 3 9 now 3 into 2 6 will come here clear similarly for this so 1 so if you multiply this you will get the same right so 4 1 3 and 2 now for the last column element so 4 into 4 what 16 now 4 into 1 4 okay 4 into 3 12 and 4 into 2 that is 8 okay so we have filled up the matrix array is it clear now the third step is what? Group the elements in the table by drawing diagonal lines. We have already seen this long back. Okay, So I have drawn the diagonal lines and I have grouped the element. Right. So the elements are grouped now. Now what is the last step? So in the last step, finally calculate the sum of the diagonal elements in the matrix which will give the samples of the output sequence. Clear? So you have to do a sum up now. Sum of the diagonal elements. So in this case only 8 is there. So I am going to calculate this, right? So I have to do a sum up. So basically it will become what? 8. Only 8 is there. Comma in this 12 plus 2. So 12 plus 2. Comma in this case 4 plus 3 plus 6 4 plus 3 plus 6 okay comma 16 plus 1 plus 9 plus 4 so 16 plus 1 plus 9 plus 4 okay next case 4 plus 3 plus 6 so 4 plus 3 plus 6 next is 12 plus 2 so 12 plus 2 and last is what 8 here so 8 now sum up this so the autocorrelation 
which is what r x x of m will be equal to what in this case boss it will be equal to 8 comma 12 plus 2 14 comma 6 plus 4 10 and 3 13 comma 16 plus 4 20 plus 9 29 plus 1 30 okay comma 6 plus 4 10 plus 3 again 13 12 plus 2 14 and 8 so this is what we have to calculate so hope you are aware about the autocorrelation numerical concepts also so this is how you have to do a computation of autocorrelation so if you have any doubt in this particular numerical you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching